High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to track at the wall. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Seymour. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here. A fine afternoon to enjoy our national pastime at Seattle's Safeco Field. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Seattle Mariners. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Giovanni Gallardo. The right-hander from Mexico gets the ball here. HR, what's the word on him? Well, this has been a little bit of a mystery. I mean, he really struggles at home. You got the home crowd behind you. You got the mound you're used to pitching on an awful lot. But he hasn't been able to get it together. Maybe this is the game that turns it all around for him at his home ballpark. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. A high fastball is in there. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Valencia will take care of this one, and Reyes is retired to open up the ball game. And now a chance to meet the Mets. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power. And they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark, and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. One out, nobody on. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matt, it seems like Drummond is pretty reasonable back there. He's consistent. You don't see many guys rubbernecking calls on him. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. third. So striding in, Joanna Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Two and one now to Cespedes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Just getting started here in Seattle. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Line hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. If you want to take a snapshot of standing inside the baseball, that's it right there. Stay inside the ball, shoot it the other way for the base hit. In now, Michael Conforto. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. Two out with the man at first. Come on, Mariners. Tough one to lay off, called a strike.
Here's the one and two delivery. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Great start to the outing here for Giovanni Gallardo. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Seth Lugo is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now at the plate, Gerard Dyson. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Hit down the third baseline. Another 1-2 delivery. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. He pulls this one into right. Now a reach, but this gets past him in right, and this ought to be extra bases. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. And these fans could not have asked for a better way to start their day. A leadoff triple in the home half, and they're off and running. Digging in, Gene Segura. Currently third on the team in stolen bases, so we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. The runner in scoring position with none out. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Grounded to right at third. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. A really good team at bat right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does just that, gets the ground ball, and brings home the first run of the game from third. At the plate, Nelson Cruz. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, Matt, that's his eighth game point. with that hit right there. Eight, eight games point. in a row is swinging the bat. We've been watching him over this week just scorching. Here's Robbie Cano now. He enters play, hitting in the 260s for the year. One out and a runner on second base. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He went deep in the contest last night. Ready with the one and one. Opposite field to left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Mariners forced to settle for one. We'll head to inning number two here at Safeco. Seattle leads this one one to nothing. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Dyson's there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. All right, here's how the M's line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. We're looking at one of the best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in field percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're going to have to earn it if you want to beat these guys. Here's Jay Bruce now. Head to head history with Giovanni Gallardo. 18 hits in 51 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And 
This ball runs away for ball two, two and one. HR, your former employer, the Mariners, entering play here this afternoon. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Well, Matt, it's always nice to play at home, and they got off on the right foot winning the first game of the series here, and they got a chance really to, to win this game and maybe even sweep this series. So the first one's an important game. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Bases are empty, one man out. A little tapper. Throw gets him, two down. to protect there with two strikes and he just got it off the end of the bat not much of a problem for the infield at that point ready to deal here's the 2 1 takes a look at one catching the outside corner And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Down in order go the Mets. They still trail 1-0. So stepping in, Danny Valencia. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. And that's in there. Base hit. So the base hit puts the first man aboard to start the inning for the Mariners. Now at the plate, Leonis Martinian. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Nobody out runner on first. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Stepping up to the plate, Dan Vogelback. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. One ball, two strikes. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Runners on first with one down. This is pulled into right. Bruce is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up that's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter he drove that fastball but couldn't get it down so he has to take hard contact as a consolation here's the catcher Carlos Ruiz and he's hoping to get things going at the plate it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games One and one, here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And that one stayed too low, apparently. He's set, here's the 2 2. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with. But there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One left for Seattle. We play two innings. It's one to nothing.
a sight to be seen. The great Pike Place Market here in Seattle. Welcome back to baseball on the show. Into the box, Travis Darno. He'll lead things off here against Giovanni Gallardo. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Right over the middle, knee high. Swing and a little blooper to center. Dyson moving in. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. And with the dog days just ahead, here's a look at our upcoming schedule into the first week of August. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Aye. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. The one-two coming from Gallardo. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. And another foul ball. And he lays Inside. off it to even the count, two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Skied into straightaway right. Cruz moves over. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Shortstop number seven, Jose Reyes. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. Now a flare out to left center. And Segura will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So a great half inning of work by Giovanni Gallardo. And he's got himself a 1-0 lead. Striding in once again, Gerard Dyson. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Swing and a liner. Foul. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. That's a oh, nice control two-strike two approach. Stop. You cut your swing Shane. down, and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Stepping in now. Gene Segura he swings and sends it on a line to right center and that gets down and we'll see if that's extra bases Dyson rounds the corner and is headed home the runner from first crosses the plate just some more of the same from him he's been clutch all year with runners in scoring right position fielder, and he does it again here with a Nelson double tack on Cruz. another RBI to his season total. And there's the fourth wide one. So now the double play perhaps in order with nobody out. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. Segura rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3-0 game. Boy, that was a heck of a at bat. Third Worked the count full. 15. Pitcher thought for sure would be looking Seeker. fastball. He got a breaking ball, stayed with it, and got the base hit. That's about as good as it's going to get right there. Into the box now, Kyle Seeger. Now both runners are breaking. 
There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Squared that one up just a little late. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. He's set. Here's the two two. Just hung in there on that one. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. First and second here with nobody out. Grounded back up the middle to Walker for one. On to first, and they double up Seeger. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade-off for sure. Danny Valencia. At the plate, Danny Valencia, a base hit in his first trip. Here's the one and one pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Bruce, but this will land out there just foul. Ready on one and two. Hit to third. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the top of inning number four. The M's lead it three to nothing. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. The big curveball just misses, apparently. Ball two. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for. Sent out to straightaway center field. Dyson is right there, one down. The left fielder number So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys have shown a decent fastball. Each has touched 93 so far on the gun. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Slider just that's off that's the black there, and it's to two and one now. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting. Striding in, Michael Conforto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but, man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. And that misses ball four, and now the Mets have themselves a two-out base runner. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Hard hit ball to second, and he'll reach to knock this ball down. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play, and the inning is over. Mets leave one, still down 3-0. Here's Leonis Martin, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 3-1, here it is. Called strike, and that'll run it full. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. 
Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter, and oh yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Ready for another chance? Dan Vogelback hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. So a runner on first with Carlos one out now. Ruiz. And stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. From the belt, the runner. pitch off is Martin. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. So he's in safely there following the one out steal of second and with that we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year and we see that the Mariners currently lead the AL in that category and this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play so the count goes to two and two now this is popped up Lugo has a play makes the play and there are two gone now. Ready once again, Gerard Dyson. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Here it comes on one and one. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, look at the dive. Excellent effort, but no chance to make the play at first. That's a base hit. Well, I love it when guys leave their feet, and they leave their feet for a purpose. He stops the ball. Now, I know he didn't get the runner at first base, but he may have saved the run right there. Love the effort. Gene Segura standing in. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. Swing and a liner, but foul. Runners on first and third, two away. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Bruce has a read on it, and that retires the side. Mariners leave a couple. They lead it three to nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Big curve ball right down the middle for strike number two. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Valencia has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. The batter, second baseman. A look at our line Deal score here through the Walker. first four. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Here's Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One out, nobody on. Big breaking ball and a beauty. One and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, you can't be too upset giving up a base hit on that one. I mean, the ball was out of the zone. You had two strikes on the hitter. He chased a bad ball. He just got a base hit. Sometimes that happens. Standing in now. Travis Darno, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Runner at first here, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Cruz on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. 
And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. Two outs two strikes and we're in the fifth inning and he's got one pitch I think away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Sent in the air out to straightaway center and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. Met strand one. They trail it here three to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Nelson Cruz. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. Ready with the 0-2. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. A solo home run from Nelson Cruz. Number 35 now on the season, as the Mariners have opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Into the box, Robinson Cano. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Here's another one two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Stepping in now, Kyle Seeger. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone, and then what do you do? You come in, that's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Into the box now, Danny Valencia. And he puts it on the ground to second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Well, another hit. You talk about a pitcher who threw well and got a win his last well, start. Total yeah, opposite yeah. right here. He hasn't Play thrown on the on ball it. very well. Smart They've been team. hitting him pretty good. And at the moment, he stands to be the guy that's going to get the loss. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Leonis Martin. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. A runner on first with two away. On the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it oh, hard. This is together. one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. In now, Dan Vogelback. As he loops under the ball and pops it up. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. But the Mariners add to their lead thanks to the solo home run. Five innings complete. It's 4 nothing Seattle. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, 
You know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Now here's the pitch. A swing there on 3-0, and it's chopped foul right at home plate. Ray is awaiting the 3-1. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Now a diving tag as he lays himself out to make the play. What an effort. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you can do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Line towards center field. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. The left Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joanna Cespedes. A hit in two tries so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Again, a 1-2. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here's the 2 2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cruz moves over, and that's the second out of the inning. How about it? Designated hitter. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two out with the man at first. In there, two and two. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Cruz moves over, and that's the third out. Mets leave one. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Rafael Montero enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the six. Number 50, Rafael Montero. Here's the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 2 and 1 on its way. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Ball three, the nine hitter. He's got to know he's going to come after him and throw him a strike. He does not want to walk the nine hitter with the leadoff guy sitting on deck and the chance to get this inning going for them. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try it again, three and two. This is in the air for Cespedes is in left. One gone. The center fielder, number one. Here's Gerard Dyson trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Dribbled back toward the mound. Throw gets him, two down. The batter number two. Ready once again, Gene Segura. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the windup, the one one pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. 
Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mariners four and the Mets nothing. Welcome back to Safeco Field here in Seattle. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The one and two pitch to two balls and two strikes now. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. 24 home runs for him on the season. As they get on the board, it's 4 to 1 now. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound and that'll be the last we see of Giovanni Gallardo. So he receives an ice ovation from this home crowd departing after surrendering just one earned run. Evan Scribner comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. And double barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left hander and a right hander start to throw. Into the box, Jay Bruce. Fastball called strike, one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Ruiz corrals it, and he makes the throw to first. Bruce is retired, and there's one away. Second Digging in and Neil looking for more, Walker. Neil Walker. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One and one, here it comes. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really froze it. Good breaking ball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one, two. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Travis, Travis Darno. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right hander is up to throw. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Here comes the payoff pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Once again, a 3-2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this is going to get to the wall now out near the Mariner bullpen. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Nick Vincent will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Nick Vincent. Stepping in now, TJ Rivera. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Whoa. 
in the dirt here. Yeah, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Towards second. But there to take it in is a well positioned Cano, and that'll end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen. So it's it may be too little too late, but they're stretch. on the board here in the late going. Get up and stretch. It's the Mariners four and the Mets one. <laughs> Trying to pick things up where we left off. Nelson Cruz already a home run and a double for him in this one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. And he is so close to having a sack with one thing short. And the toughest one of them all, the triple. He's gonna looks like he's gonna get another at bat. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespit is on the move. One out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Third baseman number 15. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the payoff pitch. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. The payoff pitch one more time. Shot toward right center. Bruce is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Up next for Seattle. Digging in once again, Danny Valencia. He's two for three thus far. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot. At and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mariners leave one as they hold on to a four to one lead. Mark Zepchinski been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the Number eight. 25, Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Here it comes 0 and 2. Soft liner towards first. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers. And when you're losing, you can't always choose how you get on base, but you've got to get on any way that you can. So he'll take that, even though it probably hurts a little bit. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And he'll dive back in safely. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Runners on first with one down.
Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. <laughs> Hitting now guys back to back. Umpires don't have much Michael patience for that kind of thing, out. whether it's intentional or not, and neither does the team that's getting plunked. Ready for another chance. Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Go home, He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to 2-1. and one. Mm, hung that one out there a bit, but it's a called strike two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Four to one our score as we Objective give you a look the there map. at the starter comparison to see how the numbers Rangers. match Rangers. up for the two starters. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this ad back could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So they pick up no runs. No base hits, no errors, and two left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Mariners are on top, four to one. Ready for another shot now. Leonis Martin, one for two on his line so far in the game. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. To two and two now. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Up next for Seattle. Digging in to first try it again. Play. Dan Vogelback. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Flipped out the other way towards short. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. At the plate, Carlos Ruiz. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball rolled softly to second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. It's the Mariners 4 and the Mets 1. Edwin Diaz comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's Jay Bruce now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators. Foul. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Dyson is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Here's Neil Walker. He was a ground out victim last time up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Cano has it. Throw on to first and the Mets are down to their final out. So stepping in, Darno. Travis Darno. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. He'll try it again.
Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. 2-2. Two -two, here it is. To third. Seeger has it. Throw on the first to be in time to get him. And the Mariners have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The Mariners seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Giovanni Gallardo earns win number seven on the season. Edwin Diaz closes the door for the save his 28th on the season so that'll just about do it for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a presentation of MLB the show for more don't forget to check out the shownation.com our final line score this afternoon first for the victorious Seattle Mariners four runs on 11 hits no errors the 2 0. He threw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. Beltre home.